Hello, I'm Dosen Christine at Point Lobo State Natural Reserve. Hello, I'm Dosen Jack. Welcome to part two of our video series about purple sea urchins. So Jack, in part one, we learned about symmetry, protection from predators, and how urchins eat. What will we study today in today's video? Today we'll learn about the sea urchin skeleton and an unusual system found only in echinoderms. What would you like to know about an urchin skeleton? So, do urchins have a bone-like skeleton like we do? And what does it look like? Sea urchins have a thin shell-like skeleton made of calcium, but it is brittle and not strong like our skeleton. Muscles and spines attach to the outside of the urchin's skeleton. These tiny muscles help to move the spines. Let's take a closer look. Christine, what are these arrows pointing to on the surface of this urchin skeleton? So I can see tiny bumps all over the shell-like skeleton and rows of tiny holes. What are these structures for? Each bump represents a spot where a spine attaches to the skeleton. Each tiny hole is a tunnel through which a tube foot extends. In this photo, the arrow points to a tube foot. Tube feet are extensions of the water vascular system. Water vascular system. I know we humans have a cardiovascular system which transports blood. What does a water vascular system do? It transports water, which like our blood, carries oxygen and carbon dioxide. Each tube foot has a suction cup at the end, which is controlled by the water pressure inside of the foot. So how do you think that suction is created? If the water pressure inside a foot were to decrease, the end of the tube foot would stick onto a surface or onto an object. The water vascular system can lift water just like we can lift water when we suck on a straw. The suction created at the end of the tube foot enables it to attach to an object like a shell or a piece of seaweed. And that is how suspension feeding works. So Jack, tube feet attach to the food particles suspended in the water and pass them to the mouth. Mm -hmm. It's like picking up food with a straw. That's a good comparison, Christine, except sea urchins have many straws or tube feet to collect food. Tube feet are also used for locomotion, enabling free-moving urchins that haven't bored into a rock to slowly move to find their food. I think that it's time to give our viewers a challenge. You have learned important characteristics of sea urchins in part one and now in part two. So now we challenge you to teach others how purple urchins can survive in a tide pool without a head or a tail, without a left side or a right side. Thank you. We hope to see you soon at Point Lobo State Natural Reserve.